This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar taking a look at still frames and speed changes in Final Cut Pro 10. In this excerpt, I'll show you how to create a hold frame in Final Cut Pro 10. What I'd like to do instead is I'd like not to break my source clip, and I'd like the ability to change the still frame without having to recreate everything. That's where a hold frame comes in. A freeze frame creates separate media. A hold frame works within the existing clip. For instance here, again, I'm using the marker solely to indicate position. The marker is not necessary for a hold frame. Select the clip, go to the Smurf menu. This is called the Retime menu, but to me it looks like a Smurf on a headset. And I've got all these different speed options. We're going to go through just about all of them today. Or, if you're more traditional, go up to the Modify menu, go down to Retime, and there's the exact same list of options that we have inside the Retime menu as we do inside the Smurf menu. Simply because it's closer to the timeline, I'm going to be working with the Retime menu, the Smurf menu here in the toolbar. So I want to create a Hold frame. Go to the Smurf menu, go to Hold, keyboard shortcut is Shift H, and when I select it, it dials in a two-second hold frame indicated by this bar at the top of a clip, which is called the retiming bar. You can turn the retiming bar on or off by typing Command R. Command R toggles the retiming bar on and off. The retiming bar says the clip before the hold frame is going to run at 100%. The clip after the hold frame is going to run at 100%, but the hold frame itself is going to be stopped. Again, watching our dramatic grizzly bear, it freezes the action into that dramatic pose and picks right back up and goes to breakfast. We can change the duration of the hold frame by grabbing the thumb on the right-hand side of the red bar, dragging to the right to make the hold frame last longer, or dragging to the left to make it last shorter. So we don't trim inside the clip because the clip is a single clip. We trim inside the retiming bar to change the duration of the hold frame. We can also, by clicking this downward pointing arrow, smooth the transition coming out of the hold frame. If I play this, it's a freeze frame, and then boom, full speed, it's back again. But I may want to blend that, have it slowly speed up. So click the downward pointing arrow to the right of the word hold, and smooth the end transition. This changes, uh, does a speed ramp, essentially. So it goes with the freeze frame and slowly speeds up until we're back to full speed. We can change the, the duration of that speed ramp by grabbing it and trimming it. And now it'll speed ramp more quickly. And we're back again. Or click the downward pointing arrow and uncheck smooth end transition. And we're back to freeze frame to full speed with no blend. Just as we can adjust the trailing thumb to adjust timing, and we use the downward pointing arrow, custom I'm going to talk more about in just a minute. We can also go to this first thumb and double click it. When we double click it, it allows me to add a speed transition which slows me down into the hold frame. So here, grab that. I'm grabbing the left edge to change the timing of the introductory speed transition, and I would grab the right edge to change the ending speed transition. So we're starting at 100% and we're slowing down to the freeze, and then we're back to 100%. But for me, the real benefit, again, if we double click on the thumb itself, is not the speed transition, but this source frame. When I click the edit, it opens up this little icon here, and I can drag the icon to find exactly the frame that I want to freeze. Right there, I want that magnificent profile, just like that. And now when I play it, it freezes on that shot without me having to create a new piece of media, without having to go back up to the browser, I just grab this thumb and find exactly the frame that I want to freeze. And now when I play it, it goes from 100% speed to that particular freeze. This ability to adjust exactly which hold frame is selected without having to create new media makes my life a lot easier. Hold frames are built into a clip. 
I can't move a hold frame somewhere else in the timeline. I can't treat it as a separate piece of media. That needs to be a freeze frame. But hold frames give me flexibility in terms of being able to do an ease in with a speed ramp into it, a speed ramp out of it. And by grabbing this little thumb icon here, I can change the actual clip that I'm freezing. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar taking a look at still frames and speed changes inside Final Cut Pro 10. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.biz slash store. Look for Webinar 131. By the way, membership is a great value. If you need to stretch your training dollars, a subscription membership to our video training library saves you money. You can access all of our videos for a low monthly price of only nineteen ninety nine. There's more than 700 movies, dozens of hours of training, all in-depth and all up-to-date. Plus, members can attend any of our Power Up webinars for free. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it every week. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.biz slash subscriptions.